Hey lovelies, welcome back to All About Jamie. And you know, these days we've been staying at home a lot. Today, I am going to show you guys how Callista and I make an organic vegetable focaccia bread. Guys, you know, we are on a partial lockdown and we've been just doing a lot of stuff at home. We haven't been going out much. The restaurants are still open, the groceries, uh, we don't have a problem with that. Well, the malls are closed and we really shouldn't be going out. So the family has been spending a lot of time doing things together. And thank God I have my garden to keep us company as well as to feed us. So we are snipping, snipping, snipping. We can grow enough to feed the family. But thank goodness, I have a lot of rosemary and we are going to use rosemary for the focaccia bread today. We're creating a garden scene on it. It's going to be so interesting. I'm very, very excited to do it. Oh, the smell of fresh herbs. I think that should be enough for what we're doing. I'm also going to harvest some dill. And some tomatoes. Whoa, you can see that I have my garlic growing right here. I don't usually put all these along the path but uh, because they need several hours of sun a day, not too much, so we tend to move them in and out just to ensure that uh, they are properly receiving sunlight. Oh, I see a butterfly! This is really what I love about having a garden because I haven't seen a butterfly around me for many, many years actually. I used to enjoy going over to my grandmother's and uh, playing with butterflies during the weekend. It was, I mean, when I was a little girl, it was literally like my favorite weekend activity. Playing with butterflies, chasing butterflies. These vines are so lovely. So there you see, I'm growing my own garlic and I can make like garlic focaccia next with, with my garlic. And I heard from my friend last night, she was telling me that she needs to grow some garlic because the supermarkets was all out of garlics. Can you believe it? So these are the ingredients that I will be using. They're tomatoes, rosemary right here, and dill. There are some ingredients in the focaccia bread that I am baking today that I don't have in my garden. It's like the mushrooms, although I did find a parasite growing out of my lemon tree that day, but they are not edible. Be careful mm. of garden mushrooms because not everything is edible. You guys know how poisonous strange mushrooms can be. So yeah, don't attempt to eat your own garden mushrooms. and. I will be using asparagus in my focaccia bread as well so that we have to get to the supermarket to buy them. Yeah, and since I have so much basil in my garden, I think doing like focaccia with basil could be a next new idea as well. I would really like to do my organic garlic focaccia next as well. With that being said, Let's go and get started! So guys, I'm going to let you in on a secret. This is the first time I'm making focaccia and I think it's the first time I'm making bread. No. Really? We've made bread before. When? Yeah, like we bought the bread machine. Bread machine. Memory lapse. And where is the bread machine now? I don't know. What is going on? 
So this is going to be a mother and daughter effort kind of thing and I'm so glad that we are spending quality time together. I garden and she makes bread. Here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, spread some olive oil on the pan so that the bread doesn't stick. Just a little bit like this. Okay. And we're going to use the brush to spread it. I'll hold the paper. I love the smell of olive oil. Yeah, this one smells so good. Yeah, this one smells so good. Is it a particular one that you always... No, but buy? I just got it just now. Alright. Do you know that an olive tree takes 100 years to grow? That's why olive oil is so expensive. I know. I was like, hey, I want to grow an olive tree. And then my friend told me that it takes 100 years to grow. So I was like, oh my god, forget it. You're not going to live to see it too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's our next step? I'm next, a novice. Next thing. Yep. This I'm an assist. Put the water into the bowl. Just like a little bit warm water. Don't make it too warm or it'll kill the yeast. Ah, so mm. it's not cold water, right? No. It's just like lukewarm? Warm. Lukewarm, okay. Lukewarm water. And then we're gonna put um, the yeast in. Do you need a stirrer? Yes. A spoon. And we don't put the salt in yet because it'll kill the yeast so the bread won't rise. Mm. Mix it a little bit. Salt kills yeast. Yeah. Okay. Next we put the flour. The bread machine was so much easier. Just throw everything in. Yeah. Oh yes. I miss my bread machine now. Do we still have it? I think it doesn't work anymore. If it's still in the kitchen. It's deceased. <laughs> It's the seized. Mix this the olive oil. Mm -hmm. Change of sugar. Pinch. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, then we roughly mix it mm -hmm. before we start kneading it. Right. We need it here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Getting a pretty good workout. Right, it's getting a little bit sticky, Callista. Oh, we can just put some flour. All just right. Around. Okay, maybe just around the table. Okay, and now we're gonna do a heart shaped kneading. This is for Callista. Oh. Heart shape. So now Kalista is going to need heart shape for mommy. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on my hands so that the dough doesn't stick to my hands. Heart shape kneading for mommy. So now I'm going to oil the bowl so that when we proof it, it doesn't stick to the bowl after. Then, I'm also gonna oil my hands more. She seems like such an expert. And, oops. Now you can see after we've kneaded for about 10 minutes, it's really bouncy. So you can tell that that's enough kneading. And that's good bread. Yeah, when it's like toin toin. And then we make it into like a nice ball. Nice this. smell. I'm hungry already. Okay. So we'll put it in the bowl. We'll put it in the bowl. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, so now we. I can help with that. Cover it with some cling film. And 
how long are we going to like leave it for? Um, about one hour. Right. That is for the yeast to work. Yeah. So that becomes poofy. Poofy. And we cover it with a clean cloth so that it's dark. Okay. All right. See you later. All right. So let's uh, check on our dough. Yes, it has risen. Over to you, Kalis. Now we're gonna put it in the tray. <laughs> and we're just gonna spread it out. Then we use our fingers and like put dimples into it. Uh huh. That's why when we eat focaccia, it usually has like this finger. Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna decorate the focaccia. This is my tree. We have different heights. Right. Shall we decorate it like a palm tree? Since I can't go to the beach, this is my moldy tree house. It's a mushroom tree house. What are we going to have to make do with? What does this look like? <laughs> it's like the palm tree. This is the bark and then there's leaves coming out of the tree. Shall we separate the deal so that every of the yeah. tree might have some leaves. Yeah. Oh, this is too tall. So let's just put it on this one. Mm -hmm. This one probably the short one. Mm -hmm. More tree houses. can tell that we really miss Maldives and we can't travel right now and we've created like palm trees and the sun and the mushrooms are like the little huts yeah yeah the huts in the Maldives we wish we can go back there soon and these Little red tomatoes represent sunrise and sunset. So many, many, many sun, and we hope that everybody will live each day in a sunny mood. Now we're gonna add more olive oil. So this is just some herbs. I bought this from South Africa. It's called Funky Uma. <laughs> it's Himalayan sea salt with herbs. I'm just gonna put a little bit more because that's what I enjoy. I think that's okay. <laughs> now, um, the oven has been preheated to 180 degrees. Celsius. We're going to bake it for about 20 minutes. Oh, I'm so hungry now. I'm just going to eat raw mushrooms. You? Mm -hmm. mm, it's nice. Try it. I'll eat tomatoes. Mm. Yeah. Whatever. I'll eat whatever. I'm so They're very free. 10 more seconds. We are excited. Do you want to do it or should I do it? You can do it. Okay. So at least I'm doing something. Yeah. <laughs> Open the oven, please. Whoa. Smells great. I hope it tastes better. I'm 
so good at making bread, I get it right the first time. I already told you this isn't the first time. And oh, basically, okay. I did everything. <laughs> I'm so good at baking focaccia, but Kalista did everything. So good job, girl! Teamwork! I'm so proud of us, we're so successful. I hope you guys have enjoyed our focaccia baking. And do try it at home and leave us your comments on how it turns out. Tag us, your videos, your pictures, we would love to see them. So till next week, keep positive, stay happy. Rosemary. Thank you. Yeah. I'm an SST. Yeah. Oh, yes. I miss my bread and cheese now. We still have it. What is going on?